Hey guys, I'm Jenna, also known as Ayla13. Today I'm going to show you how I converted Soda Master Candy. Candy is Ninja Division's mascot, and Soda Master Candy is her first incarnation for Super Dungeon Explore. The old metal model is no longer available, but her rules card comes with the newer incarnation of Brave Mode Candy, who can be played as either version. I'm going to show you how I converted my version of Soda Master Candy, inspired by her card art. Firstly, I needed a suitable starting point. I decided to use Shadow Mode Candy because she looks a lot like Candy, and I think that she's differently coloured enough that even if I played them both at the same time, they wouldn't get confused. I started by removing her weapon and horns. I needed to remove her base to allow room for her sidekick Cola to fit. I also removed her right arm and her furrowed brow and eyelashes. I pinned her to the base slightly forward and to the side of her initial position. Some of the cloth was trimmed away to fit better. I started her headband using Procreate Putty. I also filled in the base and repaired her foot that was damaged during the removal. When that was dry, I filed it neater. This is why I prefer Procreate. Green stuff is too rubbery to be filed. I filled in the right eyelid with putty and managed to leave a little at the bottom to form eyelashes. I started the headband buckle and smoothed it out so that it had a rim like her artwork. I waited for the putty to dry so that I wouldn't stuff it up, and then I tried to make her left eye match her right. I sculpted a strand of hair to sit more naturally over the headband, and filled in her mouth, sculpting a little opening. I'm modelling her puckered mouth after Succubus Vandella for reference. Next I finished off the decoration on her headband, and then bulked out her hair on the left side of her head. Now for the bottle. I'll admit this part worried me. I sculpted a vague bottle shape out of putty, using a pin and base as a scaffold. When that was dry, I cut and filed it to a better shape. I tried to give it as much rotational symmetry as I could. I cut it from the base and fixed up the bottom. I prepared a pin with a bend in it for her elbow and drilled it into her arm. I made the hole much larger than the pin because I needed to rotate it into a position I liked. I ended up gluing her plastic bracer onto the pin to make it easier to judge the positions. I juggled all the parts around until I found a position I was happy with, and then I glued the bottle to the pin. I'll attach the pin once I've sculpted her hand. I bulked out another of her hair strands, and pinned the arm into place, securing the bottle to her face for extra sturdiness. I filled in the last of the remaining gaps, and Candy was done. Now moving on to her faithful sidekick Cola. I used Ninja Cola as the base, started by removing his head, tail, and arms. This is because Ninja Cola is jumping on an angle, and I needed him to be more upright. I pinned Cola to a temporary base, and sculpted him a new left leg, then joined the tail back on. I smeared a baking sheet with petroleum jelly, and rolled out a piece of putty. I let it cure for 20 minutes so that I could handle it more easily without getting fingerprint smudges. I cut the putty to shape, including a little triangle to fit his tail more easily. Then I wrapped the torso in the putty, using a soft tip tool to mix some folds. I removed Cola's ears before attaching his head, and prepared more cloth as before. I wrapped it around his head. My camera ran out of batteries at this point, so I decided to fix the hood later. This proved much harder to do with the rest of the hood already dry, but I tried to give it some folds. In the card art, Cola is holding many bottles, but I wanted him to be holding a bottle cap. I pressed flat a circular section of putty, and pinched out some indentations around the outside. I glued Cola's ears back on, and sealed the gaps with liquid green stuff. Next I sculpted his sleeves. I added two lumps of putty and smooshed the bottle cap between them, roughly shaping his hands over the top. Now to join him to the base. I had a little trouble finding a position that I liked, and I had to remove a little more of Candy's cloth to fit him in. And here's the finished conversion. I liked it so much that I just had to paint them right away. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'll see you later.